Hello everyone, it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar. I'm here with a pick a card reading. This was an inspired thought, um, so I'm hoping that it will reach those that really, really need it. Um, I just was thinking <clears throat> about that scene in the notebook where uh, the male character gets like super irritated and is like, what do you want, right? What does this person want from you, from the situation? What in the heck's going on in their head? That's what we're investigating. So this is going to probably be especially useful for those of you that are in confusing situations where maybe you're getting mixed signals or uh, there's just not a lot of clarity around the person. Okay, so that's kind of the energy coming in um, right off the bat. So I am going to be live shuffling and I will have the timestamps down below. I hope that this reading helps you um, uncover something in, you know, the other person that you're thinking of. And of course, I encourage you to, you know, picture them in your mind as you try to pick a pile. You can do it by, you know, choosing with your intuition. You can do it by using a number generator. You can really, you know, a pendulum. You can do it any way that feels comfortable to you. So with that being said, if you'd like to have a personal reading from me, uh, you can always go to my Etsy store and purchase one there, or you can, you know, get something off my Amazon wish list. I always do a reading as a thank you for anyone who does that. So two options for readings, uh, you know, take which one you like. And uh, I, like I said, I'll see you in your reading. Hey guys, so if you chose pile number one with Haylight, this is your reading. And so I want to say, um, I'll obviously be live shuffling. And uh, I want to welcome you to the reading. Let's find out what is going on with your person. What do they really want? It, especially, like I said in the beginning, for those of you that are frustrated and just want to know what's really going on, what they really want, we will be investigating. So, one that's very good for so we have the queen of wands popping up this is definitely telling me about um, desire right this person you know if you're a feminine uh, this person could find you to be very they might you know desire your body <laughs> They might want to have a passionate night with you. Let's see. What is this? We also have the four of cups in reverse Interesting, so let's see your person. I would say Okay, they want to shake things up <laughs> Is what they want with the four of cups in reverse four of cups in reverse can be actually in the in the upright it could be about um, a little bit too much of a good thing or a little bit of not focusing on the right things. Um, they want uh, excitement. <laughs> they want something to happen. They want something to go wild here. This could definitely be uh, perhaps you showing an unbridled interest in them <laughs> in terms of desire. We have the Page of Pentacles. So, okay, I am getting a little bit of something here. This person perhaps might want you to dominate them a bit. I will say in some way, maybe they want you to kind of uh, come after them or make all the moves. I also feel that this person deep down doesn't really know what they want. And this could come off as very confusing energy. I could see that this person probably doesn't feel very powerful when it comes to you. Uh, they want to let go of some kind of control, but they don't really know how to do it is another thing I'm picking up. like to be have a weak moment for some of you a moment of weakness yeah to let go here without any care for the outcome so some of you might be in a situation where somebody's usually very controlled and rigid and what they really want is to sort of have no strings at this could be also no strings attached by the way um i have to say it might be that they don't really want anything stable or long term uh or they're not really thinking that far ahead just to be honest here. We also have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, this idea of not having, I definitely get a sense from your person that what they really want is not to have to be accountable for their actions. They don't want to have to be accountable for what they want with you. Um, also, it seems like in some way they want to be dominated. They, So I do think that there's probably a little bit of a sexual fantasy in here. Yeah, look at the hair font. That's 
probably why maybe for some of you with the hair font there's some sort of a restriction or some some kind of like outer world issue um, or custom or something that's kind of blocking this and that's kind of what they would want is to let go of any of these so again for those of you that you know you're working with somebody and you know you kind of have to keep up appearances because of working together this is a person that wants to throw all that caution to the wind if you know there's a marriage here with the emperor especially in reverse it could be you know getting rid of the other person or <laughs> something like this uh, the, or their person your person or, or just throwing caution to the wind right and just indulging look at this again the devil this is yeah this is what your person wants they want a lot of passion with you the three of pentacles yeah passion despite maybe perhaps a situation in which you know maybe there's three people involved right or a third thing a third thing between you like i said third party doesn't always have to mean another person it could represent you know something that comes between you it's interesting with the three of pentacles let me just get a little bit more on this <clears throat> so moving forward and uh, resolving any kind of differences look at that we have risk and gain cans in the hand so it's like they'd like to gain something they'd want to get some kind of recognition out of this so three of pentacles can be about that receiving rewards or recognition <laughs> this could be literally uh i don't know i just get this you coming to them type of thing but we have the chariot so again that idea of making a choice that you know results in some kind of gain it could be very risky but it's like uh I don't care what they say, you know, type of thing. Let's go for this. That's what this person really desires. We have the Two of Swords. And the Three of Wands. Again, this idea of going for it. Even, you know, the Two of Swords can be about indecision and sort of getting stuck. We're getting a lot of this stuck energy. So I'm guessing that you're dealing with somebody who's very stuck in general um, in fantasy land or what they really want is to get out of that, to get out of overthinking, to just dive in, right? Look at she has like the, 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 you know, the carving tools. It's like they want to carve the situation in a way. They want to, you know, go for it here, put action in and see results. But in, that's what they ideally want. I wonder how the other pile is going to turn out. My ears ringing, by the way. We have the Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands in reverse. So, hmm. hmm. Let me just see what I'm feeling here. The Eight of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay, maybe for some of you, this person hasn't, this eight of wands in reverse could uh, indicate like a lack of action or blocked action, by the way. It's it's kind of blocking this further um, passion. It could be, um, you know, sexual drive. It could be messaging. It could be like, so this could be like maybe a no contact situation for, uh, you know, those of you that have had an argument with judgment. It could be that they want a new phase or they don't want to be judged. Sometimes this judgment card could come up as feeling judged. Um, or paying for consequences, perhaps they're not wanting to pay for any consequences. And that's the thing here with the hair font and all that stuff kind of coming up. There could be consequences to pay or hell to pay if they were to pursue this um, in some way. So I'm guessing that some of you kind of have a complicated situation. Um, ship. <laughs> One of those things. Let's see. I want to grab some astrology cards, I think. flyers that fell down we have um taurus in the ninth house um okay so taurus that's interesting the hair font come up as well so we are talking about somebody who has moral values or believe might have the belief of you know structure right because we have taurus and the ninth house the ninth house can represent uh beliefs and our spirituality our um, morals and these are both actually signs about morals morality so i am guessing that there is something they want to let loose of the morals <laughs> i'm feeling is and i feel like there's some sort of um there's some sort of structure in place that comes between the two of you and they want to throw like caution to the wind and just say you know you know f it all 
essentially is what this person really wants but I feel like they don't either feel like they have enough to offer for some of you this could be somebody who's not really willing to put in much offer because maybe they feel like it's uh, too destructive or too difficult um, or maybe they want to take you know the easy maybe they're not quite sure of the outcome or they have a hard time building they're not sure where it could be built from if there's a strong foundation right because the tower never goes if there's no strong foundation so there might be a strong a, like a lack of strong foundation this could mean that there are, are foundations that kind of come between you like i said like a workplace or um a, a family or a situation that kind of causes that and of course it can come out in different ways but uh travel is another thing i'm seeing so and that's funny because the eight of wands are reversed so some of you this person really wants to see you if you're at a distance they want to travel towards you but there are blockages there there's conflict there's possible like things in the way they want those things out of the way is what i'm feeling um all the obstacles that kind of stand between you um let's see in customs right ninth house and taurus it's very much like about that type of stuff here risk taking by the way ninth house can be risky right sagittarius jupiter so it's about expansion growth and taking that risk taking that jump from you know stability here the taurus second house it's like you know, stability morality and customs and such we also have aquarius okay aquarius again this might be for some of you like an online connection um the craze is also very different. It's about being different. It's not about being pegged in a hole. You know, it's it's about, uh, you know, kind of being experimenting. This person might want to experiment with you as well, by the way. <laughs> that could be something. Experiment with something different as well. We have Mars. Again, passion, <laughs> desire to, to go for something, not to be held back. This is like very strong message. Like literally the whole reading is just like that. I'm going to go ahead and pull some messages for you. Some <clears throat> Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to I'll pull some custom messages for you from my little deck and then I will pull some messages of love oracle cards. Spirit, what is pile number 1's person want with them? Obstacles. Yeah, unhealed wounds again moving obstacles. There we go. There's that message again of obstacles, mastery. So you've learned the spiritual lesson, mastery. For some of you, well, I'm gonna clarify the mastery one. I wanna clarify that a little bit. Vulnerability, to be vulnerable. Yeah, tower, it's like breaking down the walls. It's like that song, dust to dust, let me, what, let me real, break the walls you built around, or no, we can da da da, and come down. Oh yeah, listen to that song, dust, Dust to Dust by uh, Civil Wars. That song came to me right away. Can you clarify mastery? That's what this person wants. They could want to have some sort of mastery with you to build something here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, they want to be open and honest, perhaps. Maybe for some of you, this person has, with mastery, I'm getting the sense that maybe this person has with the emperor in reverse, right? And the page of pentacles. This person may not feel like they have much power as it is now and what they wish they had was the power to sort of make a move or make grand gestures again with the six of pentacles they might not feel like they're in the position to do much uh, like even financially or um in st stability wise right they might have obligations elsewhere or there's some kind of restriction or blockage here okay that's kind of uh screwing it up but sun interesting vulnerability the sun's all about being honest and open and shining a light on things so I feel like this person would want to, for some of you, just break down and tell you everything that's on their mind. But they feel like they can't. We also have addiction and go slow. Okay, so for some of you, um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify this a little bit with some tarot, but uh, this person could worry about getting out of control. Um, and maybe they are a slow moving person, take time to get to know each other. So maybe they want to take things slow. We have the King of Cups. Maybe this person in the past has had quick relationships that sort of fizzled out or became um, obsessive. Maybe they got hurt really badly. Yeah, the Fool. And the Five of Swords, yeah. 
look at that five of swords it's all about uh like being hurt perhaps in the past maybe they that's why they want to keep a light-hearted energy up because maybe in the past they've had these conflicts they put their heart into something they got addicted um and then it, it, it killed them almost it, for some of them this might nearly have killed them literally like that might have been made them suicidal or something really terrible you know like they might have felt so bad um and maybe it took them a lot to get over that situation and so they have a fear of attaching themselves to outcomes that you know again may not have may not end up well you know let's get some messages from pound number one's person let's get some messages from pound number one's person i like you I'm going through a lot. So again, there might be a lot of obstacles in their in their life or these obstacles really bother them. Look at we have I love you. So their feelings have grown. For some of you, they might have told you they liked you, but they haven't said they love you. This is kind of perhaps a message for you, especially for those of you that have got the I like you message. Um, this is to tell you that there's something deeper there. Um, some of you might have heard I love you from this person already. And this is just, you know, something you already know. But there's a lot of feelings. And there's also, like, there's this desire for potential of growth, right? Um, to grow this in, in a perhaps a very reckless way. We have, you bring out the best and the worst in me. So this person could feel as if, and that could come in with that addiction and go slow. Again, Maybe this person gets so into the connection or so obsessive or addicted that they can't really handle it or something. Again, maybe it's repeating patterns from the past in which they've been hurt. And so then they kind of put the brakes on it. Like I, all I think about is like, you know when you're playing tug of war and then you're like kind of, uh, or you're trying to pull on something and their feet, I keep seeing the feet dragging, like, you know, where you kind of put your feet up and it's like you're pulling and it's like your heels are going towards the person. That's exactly the image in my head right now. I want to hold your hand. So there's something sweet here, though, with this person. It's not, I mean, I don't know. I see holding hands as a very, like, you know, innocent, sweet gesture. Supportive. I hate how far apart we are. So, again, a lot of, for a lot of you, long distance or that emotional disconnect in some way or just distant in, dis, distance in general. Uh, it doesn't have to be from very far away. It could be that you just don't talk anymore or that you see each other and you don't say very much. We have, I've been keeping my eye on you. So for many of you, this person tries to keep tabs on you. Again, they could look at your social media or something. And they say, let's meet. So there's a desire to see you. Why can't we have a happy ending? Okay. Oh, that song by Mika came to my mind the happy ending song so that's another song that might be relevant but it seems like again in terms of what does this person really want let's just summarize all of this you know oh my goodness the kitten wants downstairs they want to be <laughs> look at see he hates how far apart we are <laughs> he's he's upstairs and the door is shut <laughs> um this person really wants to make things work that they, they but i feel like in some way and this is going to resonate a little bit differently in terms of what the actual obstacles are, right? Everyone has a different story here watching. But essentially, this person would love to throw caution to the wind and just go for it. Maybe they want to start out with something non-committal um, because they need time to warm up. Um, they might, when they start to feel the strong feelings, it's like they might start to get you know, triggered or scared um, of being hurt again or falling into a place maybe where they were before. For some of you, this person might even have some alcohol problems here with the King of Cups. Maybe they've been the type to drown their sorrows in the past and it was something that they got over. That's a specific message for some of you. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I really hope that this gives you some insight to this person that's on your mind. And uh, if it did, let me know in the comments down below. You can just tell me you picked pile number one. You don't have to give me any personal details if you don't feel comfortable with it. Um, but uh, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best in this connection. I hope everything works out for you um, in, the, in the highest good for all, right? You know, that's what it's all about. The highest good for both of you. And uh, I hope that, you know, this 
you know, finds you well, you're having a good day, you're having a good evening. And if you want a personal reading with me, all that information is down in the description box below. There's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase readings. And then as well, there's a link to my Amazon wish list. I have two of them. And as many of you that, you know, follow the channel already, you always know that I do readings as a thank you. So anybody who gets something off my wish list, no matter the cost, you know, it's just something, you know, it's an exchange of niceties <laughs> is what I feel like it is. You know, I'll do a reading as a thank you. So I am wishing you the very best, as I said, and I'm going to head on to pile number two. Okay, so see you next time. Hey guys, so if you chose pile number two with this blue obsidian, this is your reading. So let's find out what your person really wants. Now, I want to tell you, as I was kind of taking a break here and preparing for, um, you know, between the piles, I kind of take a breather. And I got uh, the song, Always Be My Baby by Mariah Carey in my head. So I don't know if some of you, that's going to be a song that you like a lot, or maybe you associate with this person, or maybe it describes the situation in some way. Maybe this person's feelings or your feelings. But that song came very strongly into my head, so I thought I'd just share for those of you that, you know, need it. We also have some flies flying around, so some of you might find this connection very annoying, like I find flies. <laughs> so, Spirit Guides and Ancestors, Spirit Guides and Ancestors, reading for those who chose pile number two. What does the person that's on their mind really want? What do they really want? That's not a very good one. Okay, let's see here. What does pile number two stars really, really want? Oops. Okay, to rush forward here with the Knight of Wands. This could be sometimes a bit of a player energy, but it's an exciting energy generally uh, to pursue you, <laughs> to pursue the connection. Ooh, okay, we have the King of Cups, so there's some depth here. So I feel like as if they have deeper feelings, maybe they want to express some deeper feelings for you, then I'm also noticing that ship, so letting a ship sail um, in terms of feelings, like maybe sharing something, longing, that they've been longing to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles, so what do they want? The star in reverse and the ten of wands are in reverse so okay at this per at this time this person can feel okay with the ace of pentacles in reverse this person could be in the mindset here of hopelessness they might feel as if their offer isn't enough for you especially in terms of you know f uh, physical uh, physical pleasure or physical worth um so this could be like that they don't have enough to offer you in terms of stability and this could you know come out in different ways obviously this could be representative of them feeling like they don't have enough money or something to please you or they don't have enough value in essentially um in some way they could be a little bit even weighed down with something right now we have the ten of wands so ideally i feel like they would want to let go of any sort of um burden that they're carrying in their life i'm not sure what this could be revolved around so let's see Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. This could be, okay, this could be disconnecting from mother, disconnecting from a wife. It could be disconnecting from, hmm, something here. Again, this could be, if this is you, uh, this could be that this person wants to, let's see, let me just check here what's going on. Because I feel multiple kind of things coming through here. Movement forward, letting go of burdens and moving forward. But it seems like there's something stuck here. This could be also about clarity. The two swords can be about this desire to get some sort of clarity about how to proceed as well. I do feel as if this person would want to come out of any sort of stuck energy that they're in. Maybe for some of you, this person's been greedy in the past. Uh huh. And offer something nice. Yeah, here we have the Ace of Cups. They would want to share, you know, some emotions with you or at least share some kind of friendly vibe or maybe offer you something. This person has probably been very difficult in terms of communication. I feel like this person would want to open up to you about why that is, maybe what they've been holding on to, what they've been struggling with. Maybe they're kind of ready to let some of that go in some way. 
and this tried to pop out multiple times so let's just take it the page of wands uh, the page of wands could be about yeah a, a passionate message it could be about a fresh start towards something and with the five of cups this could be like yeah look at the page of cups in reverse they might be insecure at this time because we have the page of cups in reverse i will say that this person could be not in the best space at the moment i want to say maybe they're feeling a little bit vind not vindictive maybe they don't feel like they have the right words to express themselves maybe as well for some of you this person allows impulsivity to sort of uh, dominate uh, like they say things off the hook or emotionally immature things in the worst the page of cups in reverse could be somebody who's very emotionally mature who says things that hurt Well, they want the tower. So that's a breaking down of some kind. Change. This could be also outer change. They want circumstances to change. Um, sometimes they've seen this, like, for instance, if a person's like, you know, I had this come up once in a personal reading and it really just stuck me like big time. And I still remember that reading because the message came through so clearly. The person was waiting for someone to break up their marriage or for something like, you know, for nature to take its course. Like they weren't willing to make the move themselves. They're waiting for something else to shake them up. And this doesn't have to be a marriage, right? It could be in any aspect. It's like they are waiting for something to happen. It's like by somehow they're not it's like they want to make the move, but they're not. They're not reaching out here with the Page of Cups. They're not apologizing. They're not, uh, they're not uh, doing anything. It could be because they feel like the situation's hopeless. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the King of Cups. I mean, Six of Cups in reverse, sorry. Uh, King of Cups. I was looking up there and then... <laughs> this could be letting go of the old. This is letting go of deception. You might have somebody that's not very good at saying sorry. Or, you know what came to my mind? Tired of Saying Sorry by Enrique Iglesias. I don't know if you guys know that song. Um, maybe you were right. Maybe I was lonely. I'm I'm, I don't want to fight. I'm tired of being sorry. Yeah, maybe for some of you that will resonate. And maybe that's how you feel, of course. These songs come to me and gosh knows how they are actually going to resonate. The Nine of Pentacles. I don't know. I almost get this show off. This person's a show off. But I wonder if you're not impressed. If they've tried to show off and you're not impressed. Because that's not what you value. Maybe the things that they think you value, you don't actually value. They're like, oh yeah, like I got this and I got that. And you're like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just got that. Accomplishments. Again. Maybe you guys have a different sense of what's cool and what's not. Maybe they've recognized that in some way. That maybe ways in which they tried to impress you or something like that uh, wasn't really matching up with what you desire in some way. But this is specific, I feel. Yeah, it's like Nine of Cups. I definitely feel like something about this person, their words and the way that they behave, it doesn't really make you feel great, actually. I don't know... What, what that is. Again, it could be the immature emotions or the way that they come across is just kind of like, um, what do I want to say the word? Uh, like, oh, flippant. Flippant's my new word. <laughs> I keep saying it all the time. It's, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, let's see here. I think I'll stop here. Essentially, I feel like this person wants to apologize, but they don't. <laughs> like, they have pride or something like that. Or something going on here. Let's see. Number two, this person. Leo. Okay, for some of you, I do get the sense here that this could be like a playful connection or one that um, lacks uh, seriousness. We also have the Pisces card as well and Cancer. Very interesting. A lot of water here. 
I mean, that's not to say that you guys are water signs. It could be, I mean, who knows? Maybe these signs will be relevant to you, but I'm looking at the energy of what they mean. The fourth and the 12th houses. These are like inner houses, um, private houses. It's like private life. This is digging to the bottom. This is doing work. It's self-work, spiritual work. It's, it's a uh, compassion. Both of these are, you know, representative of compassion. So this person might want to put down their pride and actually apologize for something, but they can't. I feel like a lot of you, this person doesn't want to. On the other hand, it's like they want to, but they can't. <laughs> like they want to apologize, but they can't. There also could be a lot of sentimentality when it comes to you, especially that six of cups in reverse. They might feel like they've blown it um, in some way with what, however they behaved. They might also feel a very spiritual type of connection with you. Of course, with Pisces, we have to say that, you know, the 12th house can represent also karmic, karmic, karmic type of relationships. And when I say karmic, I don't mean um, how some people talk about karmic relationships as being only bad. Um, like kind of like distasteful or something. Ew, karmic relationship. Um, like I'm one of those people that believes we have karma with everyone, you know, not everyone, but we make karma constantly. And uh, it can be good karma, it can be bad karma. And, you know, <clears throat> of course in life, in past lives too, there's still things always to work through. But uh, let's see, what? Okay. So we have release. Oh, we have intuition. Okay, so there we go. Following their intuition is something that they might want to do. To follow what's in their heart. Because I feel like this person does have a heart, by the way. Even if they come off that they don't. They do. They just don't show it. They don't know how to kind of share that with you, I feel. Um, <clears throat> and maybe that's where it's coming, like a release. It's like this desire for perhaps vulnerability. Um, to be vulnerable. And look, at we have second chance. So, again, I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody that had a chance and they blew it, like I mentioned. And we have children. Children are an important part to this partnership. That might resonate for some of you. Um, maybe you have a child with this person or they have a child. We also have integrity. Oof, this stupid fly, can you see it? It's really pissing me off. So maybe some of you are very pissed off at this person, as I mentioned. <laughs> But with children and integrity, maybe there's something to do with integrity here. And that could be with apology. You know, they know that the apology is what's needed or necessary. That's what would be the right thing to do. But with the, all this wands energy, and speaking as somebody who has a lot of fire in my chart, on the negative side of us, um, we can be quite prideful. Especially, you know, Leo. I have a Leo ascendant. And now, of course, this is something I've worked past myself. And I'm generally a good, well, I have a lot of Neptune, so of course I'm, a, I, I'm good at like, you know, about bending over, but <laughs> in situations and saying sorry, but uh, so it kind of nullifies some of my Aries, uh, my Aries, Sun, Moon, Mercury, and Venus, but because uh, Neptune touches all of those for me. And, uh, but, so I'm pretty sympathetic, but generally, you know, on the negative side of these you know, if they don't really have anything softening that, it, that fire, that's when you're going to get that obstinate, like, you know, type of person that maybe, you know, and, and this can come out in so many different ways, but maybe could have a mouth on them sometimes, who knows. I don't know how to handle this. So again, this is somebody who doesn't feel capable of handling their emotions or expressing them. And again, maybe saying, sorry, they don't know. Maybe for some, they pushed it so far that they don't know really how to fix it. We have please give me time, I'm trying. So this could be something, someone struggling to figure out how to really approach you or something. Especially because with the star reverse, I keep going back up to that. I'm thinking of a hopeless situation. Uh, one that's, yeah, we have unblock me. So that's a message for some of you. Maybe this person can't even get to you because you've got them blocked. You're amazing. So this person does think pretty highly of you. Which makes sense with Leo, very beautiful type of energy. I love you. I feel like a dick. Oops, what do we got here? And I'm going through a lot. So this person seems pretty turbulent emotions perhaps. And kindred spirits we have. That to me is just, well, it, I always got it from Anna Green Gables, but this idea of feeling at home with somebody, feeling, I feel like for some of you, this has been somebody with a friendship. There's been a friendship here, like a, one of those type of, I like you. 
That one came out in the previous pile too. I like you and I love you. And then every time I do it, I think of that stupid song. What was the country song? I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> I can't help it. Sorry. Oh, I fantasize about you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person can't get beyond fantasy, so I don't feel like that they, you know, can offer anything of substance. Like, it's like they get stuck in the thoughts rather than taking the action. This is much different than the other pile. Pile one was much more about wanting the courage to take the action. I don't know. This is different vibes. I don't, it's just different. They want to do so. It's a little bit, yeah, it's quite different energy here. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Essentially, your person would like to, I think, reach out, apologize, perhaps share some of what's on their mind. They might want to get past this. I feel like for a lot of you, this person's probably been a bit either in and out or immature in their behavior and sh sharing their emotions. They might have been showing off um, as well. Maybe they feel like you haven't been impressed. Uh, some of Sometimes when people are, you know, especially with this energy, I feel like almost like this person thought that you would think that they were cool if they acted a certain way or that you would you would admire them or somehow it would make them a badass you know what I'm saying and it kind of blew up in their face maybe they thought if they acted like they didn't care or if they acted like like a certain way that uh, you know you would be happy with it but I feel like they've come to the conclusion here with the king of swords perhaps that that, that isn't uh, really what the case was they're kind of looking at this from a different angle now and they've realized that they're not quite happy here yeah but that's what i'm seeing for those of you that pick pile number two i hope that this reading found you well it finds you happy and healthy and i hope that it gives you some insight into your connection and uh, I wish you guys the very, very best. Thank you so much for your support. And if you would like to, you know, have your own personal reading, you can do that by going down in the description box below. There's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase a reading, as well as a link to my, um, my Amazon wish list. And as many of you know that watch the channel, I always do a reading as a thank you for those that do get something off my Amazon wish list. So that's just another option for you guys. And yeah, like I said, take care of yourselves and I will see y'all next time. Cake. Okay? Bye-bye. Hey guys, so if you chose pile number three with this Merlinite, this is your reading. So I'm just going to stick it over here and let me spray some of my stuff here, clear out the energy. And those that chose pile number three, it's pretty good. It's just pretty good. It's reading to understand. Sorry for my doggy. He's, he's got his little nails clicking on the floor. Now he's going to start begging me for food, I'm sure, like he always does. <laughs> the word surrender oh there's that that song whenever you're ready whenever you're that one yeah can you, can you surrender <laughs> I'm so bad see me <laughs> oh. do you know what song I have so maybe some of you I don't remember who sings it I have a, like a certain version of that I feel like I can't remember which one it is Okay, we have the Six of Wands, surrendering the ego, perhaps. Letting down the guards here. The Three of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles. What does this person want? Okay, this could be about letting go of the ego a bit here. And this could also be... Oh, the Three of Cups in reverse. I'm going to have to clarify that. Clarify that Three of Cups in reverse is what this person wants. And then we'll get into the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with friendship. Uh, maybe this is like friend zone type of stuff here. We have the Ace of Wands. So, hmm. Maybe for some of you, this person just remains friendly. And they've kept it friendly. But they're thinking, I feel, like this person's really pondering what they really want. What they really want to put into this what they want, uh, they're looking at, I think, a long-term thinking about maybe what they're willing to surrender to. 
yeah look at that the strength card this might be a very a person with a lot of inner strength they might feel like it's always better to keep their emotions under wraps and under control this might be not this might be somebody that doesn't really show uh strong emotions very easily um yeah we have the ace of cups sorry yeah i feel like they, this person fights their emotions they might feel as if they would be judged uh or maybe you would think differently of them maybe this person tries to, to put up a fight or they act like they're fighting the world for some of you this could be a tough guy image for some of you of judgment in reverse what does this person really want redemption is what i get i heard thought of the word redemption surrender redemption these are words that are kind of popping up for me yeah with the nine of swords hmm there might be some kind of forgiveness that this person wants i'm feeling maybe they feel quite anxious about there's definitely some kind of anxiety here and the judgment card usually can represent a renewal or a clearing away. It's like a fresh slate in a way, um, different than the fool. It's usually after a lot has happened and it's kind of like a redo, okay? Well, because think of the idea of judgment. It's like, you know, death and then getting up into the sky, you know, and kind of starting over um, with just your soul, <laughs> right? Uh, and it's sort of just the essence of I don't know. There are a few cards that represent that idea, but judgment can be like that too. It could be that this person is afraid of judgment um, because judgment can literally be that you're being judged. Um, perhaps, you know, for some of you, this person might feel like you've told everybody. Maybe you told somebody that, like, uh, that's a specific, but some of you, I feel as if you told somebody about this or like maybe you told your friends or, and they know it, or maybe people have kind of pointed at them or, or scolded them or, um, someone told him you blew it. The Six of Pentacles. What does this person want? So we get the Six of Wands in the reverse. But we get the Six of Pentacles in the upright. I feel like that's an interesting thing. Because the Six of Wands in the upright is all about pride and... Well, not pride necessarily, sorry. But it's also about victory and it's in reverse so maybe they want to be in a position of being able to give you something this could be wanting to offer you especially with the ace of cups over here wanting to offer you like a literal gift uh, this could be like literally wanting to pay you back for something as well for some of you like maybe they borrowed something and they didn't give it back or you've given them something and they didn't pay they didn't really reciprocate the uh, finance you know finances or something uh there we have the two of wands and the king of wands so that's interesting energy the two of wands well it can be about trying to figure out what you want um and with the king of wands this is somebody who's very sure of what they want they are you know their passion has direction their passion has a drive they know uh, this person i think what they want is to know what they want um to have a clear maybe map of what is ahead or what could be possible um and this could be their own internal issue right uh Maybe this person's a bit indecisive here. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. So figuring, figuring out a way to keep it balanced. And let me see here, the devil. Devil, yeah, this person definitely struggles with some sort of issues here. I want to see what it, it's in regards to. Okay, this is like lack of self-worth here with the ninth, Nine of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is definitely a cocky person who probably... This kind of came up in Pile 2 a little bit, although this is a bit different. Um, this could also be somebody who kind of acts like a jerk because they have self-worth issues deep at the core of them. Um, they could even let these sort of thoughts... Uh, really take over in how they behave, how they speak to other people, and particularly you, probably. I get this sense of wanting to let go of, of this pride of these self, like, self-protective type of feelings here.
Yeah, the sun in reverse could be like an ego that's damaged or feels weak. And maybe this person's a fighter. All they know how to do is fight. For uh, Maybe they haven't had healthy relationships modeled towards them or they haven't really experienced healthy relationships. There's something there. person really want this person doesn't know what they want I just said what does this person really want the high priestess the ten of wands they want to remove the burdens like they want to they don't know mm -hmm. they don't know which direction they want to go in they don't know really what they want they're still for some of you this person's still investigating that here with the page of swords again this could be the energy of somebody not really wanting to it's kind of a more i don't know i always see the page of swords is a little bit more careful rather than ready to kind of charge in like the knight and uh, usually because there's an apprehensiveness to them or something or a protective type of uh you can see she's not quite facing her truth yet she's not quite facing that tr that sword that communication she's looking away from it so it seems to me like they don't really know what they want at this time you're dealing with somebody who's probably got a lot of, of issues um especially in terms of uh expressing themselves this person probably only knows how to express things through manipulative, not manipulative, I don't even think it's manipulative, it's like a, they only know how to put up fronts. somebody who shoves their opinion in their your face I want to say here um, they might have their own opinions about how life works and they might uh, have a really hard time seeing anything any other way this could be a very black and white type of person they see only two colors you know like two options two scenarios it's very like this um, <clears throat> and then we had all those twos coming out too so that gets me a little bit here with Jupiter and Sagittarius you guys could be at a distance this could be like an online connection I have to just say for some of you they might want to see you in person they might want to meet you um, but I do feel like there are a lot of blockages here this person might not want you to see the real them with Pluto Pluto can go in good ways it can go in bad ways it just depends on how someone's using it right it can be about someone who is you know super protective of themselves and super um, dark right and then of course there's the good side of Pluto which you know is if you work on your Pluto especially for those that have bad Pluto aspects um, it could be that you know they want to sort of get out of these ways of living or these ways of thinking but there's a lot of challenges here Pluto square and then I'm seeing Jupiter here and then there's also like let's see well we have like Aquarius and Sagittarius so that's like the ninth and the eleventh house traveling to see, to see you or doing something out of the norm. But Pluto squared Jupiter. Well, that's very much black and white thinking right there, possibly with Pluto squared Jupiter. Sometimes I've seen it in charts like that, especially in squares, like uh, zealots or whatever, or people who only have one way of seeing things. Not always, but that's the negative side of it. But I do get the sense of that this person would like to rise, get over these challenges. I'm not sure if they're capable of it. <laughs> That's another story. So what does pile number three this person want? What does pile number three this person want? Oh, we had one flip over. No. Oh, we did have one. Self-care. So this is about somebody who's all about self-preservation, to be honest. Um, they want to make sure that they come out on top, that they look good, that they don't ruin or sully their reputation or as a badass <laughs> for some of you. I'm sorry to say 
Um, one second, this one flipped over. I had to find it. Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Well, we have Pluto there. <laughs> Maybe for... Let's see here. Denial. Yeah, they want to deny any obsession or interest. I feel like they're trying to shove it away. You know, walk away from it. But they can't quite do that with the Eight of Cups in reverse. I feel like they can't quite walk away from it. But they'll still deny it because they have this ego attached to everything. That they're wrong or that they're into you. It just depends that they are weak. This person might have a very skewed idea of what is weak and what is strong. We have wait. The timing's not quite right, so waiting. I feel like this isn't somebody who really wants to move forward too much at this time. We have apology, but you see, it's like wait. They don't really want to do it. They want to, but they're like, I don't feel like this person's... Okay, here we go. Interesting with put away the computer and then we had all that Sagittarius stuff coming out. Um, so again, it might be like uh, seeing you in person. Maybe for some of you this is an online connection as I mentioned. We also have forgiveness and apology. So I think ideally they would want things to be smooth with you. I feel like they'd want to be honest with you. And they would want to have true love. What is true love? True love is, you know, unconditional. It does, it's not, uh, you know, it's not something that's uh, based on what you give or it's something in which you can be vulnerable when you true you know it should be ideally love should be vulnerability it should be able to share yourself with somebody else but this is somebody here that is has such a hard time I feel like opening up um, they want this but I don't know for many of you if this person's really evil at this time to do this let me just get some messages for you guys so I've been daydreaming about you. Ooh, and we got the I love you with the hearts. We got I love you in the other piles, but it was like a different one. And it's just to share love as well. For those of you where you're like, okay, this person couldn't possibly love me right now, where it's not realistic. It could just be that this person wants to share like their feelings or to be more vulnerable, to love, to show love, you know, in whatever way is appropriate for your relationship. I'm avoiding you. So this person, again, avoiding their emotions, avoiding you, avoiding sorries, avoiding any sort of vulnerability. I'm getting avoiding surrender like we were talking I think you're cute and I just don't feel the same now this I just don't feel the same I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna shuffle on this three of swords in the reverse this person might have a different approach than you uh, in terms of just how they act and behave. This might be just a personality clash. This, again, probably is self-protective so, in some way from past pain. They work on things differently than you. They process things differently than you. They don't feel the same way that you do. And, it doesn't, and this is actually not like not matching your feelings. It's more like they don't like feel emotions in the way that you do they like for some of you you might be much more expressive or able to handle them and in the do you get what I'm saying like it's not I don't feel the same about you as you feel about me it's about how this person feels their emotions and I can't be more than friends so this person does feel like they can't be more than friends and, and maybe for some of you this is like they don't feel the same because they can't be more than friends right now it could that could also be a message for some of you, too. Um, I hate how far apart we are. So there might be a bit of a wedge between you guys. Essentially, too, with this Eight of Pentacles and Three of Swords, we can totally see that, sorry, as uh, somebody who wants to work on this, you know, maybe healing or something or repairing any kind of damage that maybe their behavior has caused on your heart. We have, I'm pretending I don't care, and I've been keeping my eye on you, so... This person acts like they don't care, but they probably still watch all your stories. <laughs> that type of thing. <laughs> you know, if you have Instagram. Of course, not all of you do, but um, just that type of type of deal. So, that is your message, guys. I really do hope 
that this reading gave you some sort of insight, at least into this person currently. I um, am wishing you all the very, very best. Like I mentioned, I forgot to do this for pile number one, but um, you know, I want this connection to work out for you guys in the best way, and that's what I'm wishing you. Blessings for this connection to, to turn out in a way that's in the best, highest good for both of you, um, whatever that may be. So I do, you know, want to thank you for being here. If you like the reading, let me know. If it resonated with you, let me know. You don't have to give any personal details or anything like that. You could just tell me that you picked pile number three, and I'll be happy to see that, you know, you, 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 you know, you, you uh, I'm not going to be happy to see you have the situation, but, <laughs> you know, because it sounds kind of annoying, but, you know, I'll be happy to know that you guys, you know, were supporting the channel. But I do wish you guys all the very, very best. I hope that this reading finds you happy and healthy, and you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is down below in the description box. I, um, you know, do Etsy reading, so you can go on my Etsy store and purchase a reading. You can always go as well on uh, my Amazon wish list. Anybody who gets something off my wish list always gets a reading as a thank you, so that's another option for those of you that would rather do that. But, um, you know, just like gift for gift. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wish you all the very, very best. Take care. Hey guys, so if you chose the last pile, pile number four with the citrine, this is your reading. So let's find out what your person really wants. What do they really want beyond all of this, you know, stuff that they say or do, especially for those of you that are in confusing situations. I do want to say that as I was sitting here taking a break and sort of seeing what was coming to me, I actually did get the song by Adam Lambert, What Do You Want From Me? And that's funny because you would think that I would have had that song naturally in my head because of the title, but that ha that's the first time the song has come up in my head at all. So it must be relevant. Because sometimes I could be like, oh, you know, what do you want? What do they want? And I could say, oh, well, maybe I'm just kind of correlating it to the words. But I really feel as if it might be relevant in some way. So let's get started. Okay, dropping the fences, giving up the fight. What do they really want? Punishment. Hold on. I don't know why punishment came to my mind. First person really wants. Oops. Sorry. King of Swords in reverse. Let's see here. This person might want to lash out at you a little bit. Or to not say what they're really thinking. Okay, this might be actually. This person um, doesn't want to tell you everything on their mind. They're having a lot of secret feelings. This fly is pissing me off. I have a fly here. I hope it's not like buzzing on the camera. If it is, I'm sorry. Um, like, or buzzing in the microphone. Uh, it's annoying. And I think it's just a representative of annoying energy. Okay, so we also have the seven of pentacles. And we have the six of wands. What do they want? Hmm. Let's see. Well, usually the seven pentacles could be about having a patience and victory, like putting in the effort. So this person... Well, I see this person wanting to have success, be seen by you, perhaps um, be appreciated as well. They might want you to recognize what they've done, what they've accomplished. I don't feel like this person's saying this though at all. Um, this person might want compliments from you. <laughs> this person could have a lack of self-worth or feel undervalued here. We have the queen of coins. This person also could want to show you that in yourself. Maybe for some of you, you've been in a situation in which you haven't been treated very nicely. And this person wants, um, we have the queen of coins, the empress, and the sun in reverse. 
Well, the sun is usually... Let's get a clarifier on that. Maybe this person wants to pay you compliments. Maybe they're not bold enough. I wonder if this person's not bold enough. Maybe some of you are going through a difficult time and they want to be a, a, a knight in charge. Wow, we're getting a lot of knight of a knight of like swords in reverse. Like all the court cards, I think basically have come out. And look at even this knight of cups came out in reverse as well. So, hmm, that's like all the communicate. We basically had them all except for the queen of swords. So this is somebody who's not talking. This is somebody who's not really sharing. What do they want? They're not really sharing their feelings. Or this is not somebody who maybe gives compliments very easily or something. Not reaching out. What do they really want with them? What's their person want with them? King of Wands. Okay, this person doesn't want anything right now at this time. That's what I'm going to have to tell you guys. I don't feel like this person... Or they don't know what they want. Because we have the hangman in reverse, the the two of wands in reverse, and the king of wands. This is all about inaction. We're getting a lot of non-action. This person wants to take a break, perhaps, as well. We're going to... This is going to be an interesting reading. This is totally different than the other ones. Let's see. So the hanged man in reverse... This is about all non-movement. Like, they don't want to move forward. Stubborn. Yeah, we have the seven. Well, this person could want to know what they want to do. That could be what they really want, is to know what they want. <laughs> and how to treat the situation. We have the seven of cups in reverse as well. Lots of reversals here. What the heck? Okay. So, this is... Okay. I see here. So, practicality is something... Again, this person might be a bit back and forth and indecisive. I feel like this person doesn't know what they want in general. Um, they're not aware of it. It seems to be a mystery to them. I feel like many of you may share a very like kind of spiritual connection with this person. Maybe you just click very well. But uh, there's something here. Seven of Cups... There's this desire for, like, uh, freedom in some way. For power. Power of will, power of communication here. Like, power of knowing. This person, like, lacks it in some way. I wonder why that is. It's probably going to be different for all of you, so I don't really want to, like, look into it too badly. What's holding this person back? What is... this person back they want to stay comfortable or something or they don't know what they want there's like the ace of swords they don't know what to say they don't know what to offer we have the ace of coins in reverse with the ace of swords so it's like not really having anything of substance to say or not really having anything to give perhaps or an opportunity that was missed in the past Maybe for some of you, it's like you have, this person has no willpower because maybe they messed up and they now they know they can't exactly say anything or do anything. Or maybe there was an offer that was rejected, um, actually. That could be it, too. If you rejected this person's offer, whatever it was, of course, with the Ace of Coins, it could be really anything. It doesn't have to be amazing. Maybe for some of you, it didn't live up to what you wanted or expected from this person. And they could be, that could be what's blocking it. What does this person want? World in reverse. We're getting a lot of reversals here. That's telling me that letting go of heartache, of pain. This is telling me that there's probably a lot of emotions up in here. A lot of uh, withdrawn emotions, maybe. The Ten of Swords and Well ultimately I feel like this person wants healing in the situation. Let's see what was that card? That was a page of wands. So a fresh start. 
the willpower. The Page of Wands has willpower. The ability to, you know, kind of jump on something or take action. Pick uh, dusting themselves off. And healing. For some of you, this person might not... I don't know if you guys had a really big fight or argument. This person might be in, in withdrawn mode right now. Like they generally don't want anything. To be honest. Maybe you hurt their feelings really bad. I have to say. But um, let's see. Others of you. It's like yeah we have unavailable. This person's unavailable to give you. I feel like this person's in a bad place. And that doesn't mean by the way that this person will always be in this place. Um, this could have to do with you. It could have to do with themselves. Maybe they are trapped in some way. Or they feel like they can't you know come towards you or something. Or be more than a friend. Yeah more than a friend and then friendship card pops out so this might be what what's going on here leap of faith it, yeah and this person does not have a leap of faith at all um like they're not yeah go slow <laughs> look at this <laughs> they're just like confirming everything i'm saying <clears throat> this person um doesn't make leaps of faith to be not be, uh, yeah look at this so we have strictly sexual and here and now. So it seems like this person's not really able, perhaps at this time, to offer you anything that is long-lasting. Um, they're not really able to give you anything that... I feel like a lot of you even just want honesty. And they might not even give you that. You know what I mean? Uh, this could be somebody that's really got some issues. You know... What else am I getting here? I want to pull some astrology cards and see what's up. The eighth house. Okay, intimacy, right? But it's also a secretive type of house. And it's Pluto, um, associated with Pluto. So it could be like keeping things sexual, um, keeping things kind of... Uh, uh, keeping things under wraps. The, se the eighth and the twelfth house in particular are the houses of secrets. Yeah, I think that for some of you, this person can't offer you anything beyond sexual relationship. It could be even just like secretly lusting after you, but only being friends. Okay. We have Chiron. We have the sixth house tried to that come out as well. The sixth house, I mean, Virgo, sorry. <laughs> I go sixth house, Virgo. It comes to my mind. Virgo's uh, well, associated with Mercury and, uh, you know, the sixth house. This could be about having a very, uh, this could be that this person wants to keep it friendly or at a, a way in which things are organized or, <laughs> uh, how do I say this? I'm trying to think about the word I'm trying to find here in my head. I'm like, you know, digging in the, the treasure chest of my head for a word and I can't find it. And I'm like pulling out all the words and they're like, none of them are right. <laughs> like passive not exactly like daily basis i'm talking about like you know just sort of like this keeping it at uh, uh, this word i'm trying to think like casual maybe casual is what i mean maybe that's kind of what i'm thinking this person with chiron here could have a lot of self-doubt they could have some trauma they could have a lot of issues this could be related i don't know if you're triggering their chiron in a negative way or something or maybe their chiron has a lot of negative aspects that they have to work through and maybe it's somehow triggering their love life or moving forward we have pluto so there is deep transformation here that has to happen in this person and with the semi-sextile it could be that you see a lot of potential in this person. Some of you, I feel like you do. But this person's a disaster, I feel. I'm sorry to say it. But I feel like they have a lot of work to do. I'm not saying that they're a bad person. I don't think most people try to be bad people. They just, they, they survive in the way that they know how, right? That's what most of us do. Even when we're doing bad things. Uh, or we do things that are jerky or not nice. It's just, generally, it's a survival type of thing. It's what we know. It's, we know it, that's how we know how to fight for ourselves or protect ourselves. And, uh, you know, even, of course, when it hurts you, you don't want to encourage that behavior um, for sure. But uh, this person probably has a lot to go through. A lot of growth here. We also have Gemini and Neptune. Some of you could have Neptune Mercury contact in your chart. We could also have like a Pluto Mercury as well. 
very, or maybe they have it in their natal chart. We're getting a lot of plutonic. We get a lot of mercury here. So it's telling me that this is somebody who's very, they could be either very awful with their words or very hidden with their words. It depends. There's like kind of a, it could go either way. It could be somebody who's very controlling and manipulative with their words. It could be somebody who is, uh, but also very controlling of what they say and what they share about themselves, uh, of course, too. Because there could be like this lack of worth um, inside of them that they don't want to talk about. Um, and again, this could be more on the emotional scale because of Chiron. But I feel like this person right now wants to keep things simple and easy. Is what I what I really feel like that's what they want, and you know, maybe that will you know give you some idea about you know how to behave in this situation. But uh, let me check the messages for you. So for those that just found a gift for spirit, what messages so I've been keeping my eye on you. Yeah, with Pluto, maybe this person's really into you <laughs> secretly. Uh, I wish things could have been different. So there is a desire that things could have been different, that the situation could be different. I'm going through a lot, again, lots of healing or issues. And I want to tell you guys, you know, this may not last forever. This could just be like a literally current snapshot of how they're feeling that could pass, you know, soon. Remember, these are just, when you find this, it might be a message that's for you at this time. It could shift at any time. And of course, you know, if you feel like it doesn't resonate or not everything resonates, you can always go to a different one. We have, I think you're cute. There could be something very innocent about you. Um, this person might feel that you're an innocent. And it's almost like for some of you, this person could be self, uh, like protecting you actually from them. <laughs> I don't know how to handle you. Yeah, they might not have been around somebody that's like you before. That's, uh, maybe you intimidate them. Why can't we have a happy ending? So, I feel like this person has a dark side, and if you don't know it, um, it could that they have dark thoughts, maybe these, like, I, I don't know, I got this innocent type of vibe, like, you're an innocent in their eyes. Maybe because they know their patterns, they know the way that they do it. It says, I miss the sound of your voice, and please give me time, I'm trying. So, maybe they miss, and I'm pretending I don't care, so... This person's going through a lot under the surface, but they're not showing it, which makes sense with all those like sword, uh, court swords cards coming out in reverse. They're not really communicating much or showing much or sharing their thoughts. It's not really the most honest type of behavior, you know? You're amazing. Let's get one more. And run away with me. <laughs> well, they'd want you to run away with them, I guess. We'll get one more. Just one more. Say something. Okay, so this person might be too chicken to say something. That's possible as well. Maybe they're waiting for you. They're not reaching out first. But, again, wasn't I got this idea of, like, punish me. Punish me or say something mean. Oh, maybe some of them, maybe you've been too nice to this person, too forgiving. And they're like, no, I deserve to be punished. I'm an asshole. I, I don't know. That's specific for some of you. Okay. Um, that's a weird message that came out, but uh, it's possible. Now, I am um, going to go ahead and stop, but I hope this gives you some kind of insight. What do they want, essentially? Just to summarize this, because I know we've kind of been on a journey here. <laughs> but uh, to summarize, I feel like this person doesn't really want to take any action towards you. They don't really want anything at this time. They don't want to open up. They don't want to... I feel like they would like if things could become friendly again. I do sense that there's pain here. But I don't feel like they want to take it towards anything at this time. Like anywhere further other than maybe just making, smoothing things out. Again, they might not feel like they have the power to do it with all of these, you know, all these court cards coming out reverse. It feels like a lot of, um, a very powerless type of person or a person who doesn't feel like they have much power here. We got page upright, but not uh, all these king energies and like, well, page as well and, and king and knights. It's all in reverse. It's like, I feel like this person doesn't, uh, 
doesn't have willpower at this time or a drive in some way. But uh, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best. I hope that this reading finds you happy and healthy. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are. And uh, if it helped you, let me know. You know, if it helped you understand the person or it resonated, of course, let me know. You don't have to share anything too personal, of course. Uh, just even letting me know that you picked pile number four makes me happy. And uh, liking always helps too. It helps encourage me uh, to know that you guys liked the reading or that, you know, you found something useful in it, even if it wasn't a message you wanted to hear. <laughs> but uh, I wish you all the very, very best. And if you want a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box. There's a link to my... Etsy store where you can purchase a reading as well as a link to um, as link as well as a link to my Amazon wish list and for those of you that are returning subscribers and you know me already you know that I always do a reading as a thank you for anyone who gets you know something with me uh, off the wish list it's kind of like a you know mutual receptive gift here <laughs> and uh, yeah it, it doesn't matter which wish list or what you pay or whatever it's all appreciated and I repay the kindness so I mean that's just another option for those of you that do like the gift giving idea or want to see a certain deck on the channel of course um, I wish you all the very best as I mentioned already about 50 times it's just because I feel it so strongly for you but I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'll see y'all next time okay bye bye